When the sun goes down, abandoned homes in upstate New York begin to glow. Every night, the lights fade in and out to illuminate the problem of empty buildings in the cities of Albany, Schenectady, and Troy. Artist Adam Frellin thought up the Breathing Lights project with architect Barbara Nelson and won a $1 million public arts grant. What also is exciting is when people want to just say what their first reaction was. There's a lot of like believing that the building was getting ready to explode or there was like some power surge or it was haunted. The ghostly effect comes from thousands of light emitting diodes placed in more than 150 vacant buildings. Jerry Ford has helped project organizers in his Troy neighborhood. He hopes the lights help others see the potential for these empty homes. You look at it and most people will see an abandoned building, but this is abandoned families. This is abandoned community. This is where society starts to really see a breakdown. The breathing effect lasts for four hours each night. It alludes to the life of the crumbling buildings and to the people no longer there. Many neighbors say the lights are a welcome addition and keep squatters away. Others wonder if the money could be better spent elsewhere. They need to put money into the houses to get them fixed. So you got these people in here sleeping them, they're sleeping on the streets and this, instead of making it look pretty. Organizers say the money came from an arts grant and note a million dollars could only rescue four houses. This project includes home buying workshops and an art show at the Schenectady Boys and Girls Club. They hope to spark a more permanent solution once these lights go out for good at the end of the month. Michael Hill, Associated Press.